joining us back on SSP TV News for an update is Hazelton Area School District Superintendent Brian Uplinger. And it's always nice to see you again. We're still working remote. We are working remote, and which is unfortunate. We certainly want to get our students back in the buildings. We want to get all of our teachers back, all of our other staff members back. That's where we belong, and that's where everybody else belongs. But this pandemic is just really wreaking havoc on this area. There are so many opinions when it comes to working remote for students or having students go back into the classroom. I'm assuming that you follow the standards of the state when making those decisions? Yes, we definitely do. Uh, we follow the recommendations of the CDC, the Department of Health, and also the Pennsylvania Department of Education. And also, you know, basically the, the governor is issuing those uh, different recommendations as well. So we will certainly follow those. Um, we're following them to a T. Uh, we don't have issues um, that are spreading across the district. We did have a little bit of a hiccup uh, earlier in, in November. Uh, we took care of that very quickly and, and we were back in. Uh, again, you know, looking for the future, we just want the kids back and we just have to make the most educated um, decision and uh, utilizing the data that we're, we're being provided and also utilizing those recommendations that come from the state. So kids have been home since the beginning of the year. They have not gone back into the classroom. And I know this will uh, continue throughout the rest of 2020. After the holidays, what is the plan for the Hazelton Area School District? Right, sure. So we're looking at the beginning of January. Uh, January 4th is yeah. when we return to um, from the break, from Christmas break. Once we have those that uh, we're back in, we're looking at the uh, January 4th, that first week of January, for, to have our staff members return. Uh, then the following week, January 11th, uh, we're looking to return students. And that could look a uh, myriad of different ways. Uh, students may return at 100%. Obviously that won't mean 100% because of the restrictions that are in place, but we're just opening the doors, who's coming back, who isn't. Um, and then make our, our plan based on the numbers that are back. Uh, it could be a, a staggered schedule where we bring back K to two, then three to six another week, um, seven and eight a different week, just to stagger and, and make sure that we're mitigating any issues that we may have or may see with, again, the, the continued issues with the pandemic. So the, the schedule isn't set in stone yet, but we are wanting to get everybody back as quickly as possible, but as safely as possible. So parents will have a choice whether their child goes to school or stays home for the rest of the year. Correct. 2021, 20, yeah. I should say. 2021, yeah. We'll, we will definitely not force the hand of the, of the parent to make that decision. Um, they know the best interest of, of their child health-wise. Um, we certainly want them to come back, but if they don't feel comfortable sending them back, then we will we'll certainly honor that wish and keep... Uh, our on online education rolling. Uh, certainly not an ideal situation with learning from home. What are some of the comments you're hearing? Is it a struggle for most students or is it kind of getting better? Or are we working out some of the hiccups that we had in the beginning of uh, the school year? Sure, we're, we're definitely working out the hiccups. We still have a number of them to go. Uh, we're not seeing as many issues with teams as we had in the past. The computers are finally starting to come in so the ones that we ordered in March are finally starting to, but we're starting to see those um, come into the doors, trickle in. We still don't have enough for everyone, but we're still, we're still maintaining that, that everyone will receive a computer from the district um, moving forward as soon as we get them all. Okay, and finally, what is your message to families, to taxpayers, to the community, as far as any message that you would like everyone to know um, and on the district's behalf. We're, we're definitely wanting you back. We, we certainly want you in the schools. That's where you belong. Uh, we're doing our, our due diligence and making sure everything is continuing to stay safe as, as possible. Um, please be patient, continue to be patient with us. You've been a, a, amazing thus far and just continue that patience with us. It's a learning, and, uh, learning curve for everyone. And uh, we love you. We definitely want you to come back and uh, we can't wait to see you and get you back in those, those buildings. 
Today's news feature is brought to you by Frankie's Pizzeria, located at 3739 Wyoming Street in Hazleton. Every Friday night is all-you-can-eat crab legs from 5 until 8 p.m. Reservations are suggested. You can call 570-454-6000 to make a reservation or for more information.